Well, hello again, and welcome to another edition of The Speed Bag. Today, a little segment that I like to call, Where You At, Ref? At Sunday night's UFC Fight Night 105, we were treated to just a fun little reminder of what a late stoppage really looks like. Derek Lewis beat Travis Brown until he was laying there just an inert mass on the mat. Then he beat him some more, and then referee Mario Yamasaki decided to step in and stop it. Especially at heavyweight, you know, that's serious stuff. You don't want to take one more punch than you have to from a guy like Derek Lewis. You especially don't want to take you know, three or four more than you have to. Not if you enjoy you know, speaking without slurring and remembering things, which personally, I enjoy quite a bit. It reminds me of a rule that we came up with back in the cage potato days to try to determine if a fight had been stopped too early. That rule, which we called the what is your problem rule, though if memory serves, we also inserted one extra word there just for color, requires that a fighter wishing to complain about an early stoppage be able to immediately look the ref clearly in the eye, preferably without trying to stand up and falling back down and say, what is your problem? And if you can do that, if you can do it right away and make himself very clearly understood, then maybe he has a legitimate gripe. But it seems like we also need a rule that works in the other direction, which is why I'm suggesting the where you at ref rule. Again, colorful language can be inserted there to spice it up if you so choose. But this time, it's the viewer, it's us, who must do the asking. If you see a fighter go limp, stop fighting back, roll up into that purely defensive, highly punchable little ball that we've all seen, all the stuff that usually means a stoppage is coming, and you have time to then say, where you at ref, before the referee actually steps in and stops it, that's probably a late stoppage. If you have time to say it multiple times before the ref actually gets in there, as was the case with Lewis versus Brown, then that is definitely a late stoppage. But you have to be able to say the whole thing. I mean, if you just get to where you are and the ref steps in, doesn't count. Ref did his job there. And it's a tough job. No one's disputing that. The combat sports referee has basically a completely different job than most referees. He can make a snap judgment at any time during the competition, which instantly and irrevocably stops the competition. You get in there too early, great, thanks. You ruin the fight. That's bad. Get in there too late, though, and you may be partly responsible for someone's brain damage. That's, that is also bad. But refs know it's a difficult job when they sign up for it. They also know it's an important job. And if we have time to ask where you're at in that critical moment when somebody's skull is being unnecessarily thumped on, the one thing we know is that you're not where you need to be.